Hello one, it's me, I'm the Traveler Dabis, I'm back in a new video. What's the situation of Kunosaki Shio? Shio was one of the most popular indie VTubers there outside, even close to some big VTubers and a close friend of Tokoyami Towa on Hololive. It has been 11 months since the last stream of Shio. Let's recap what happened with the story of Shio and why she's actually the most hated VTuber on Japan. Before Holoian debuted, when VTubers were discussed in forums like 5chan on one small thread, and before the creation of uh, boards like virtual YouTuber BT on Fortune, as a dad, she was only talked on JP on 4chan, and Reddit was not really that big to talk about. Shio and even indeed like her, one of the most popular VTubers company at that time was Point Live. They were more popular than Home Live and the food looked bright for them. And this company there was a VTuber named Yasakura Tama. The back when VTubers were really idols. They were good, chill and talented and so she she played Mahong on a semi-professional level and participated in many games with professional players. She was also very good at drawing. But on the day about 1.5 uh, years ago, a drama happened. Tama started tweeting that Point Life is a black company and they treat their talents like shit. The specifics are unknown, as neither her nor the company did not cast light on the situation, but everybody sided with her. As everybody believed her, in the end she left with the company, and even convinced her genmates to live with her. She presented Point Life in a really bad lie. Butcher, one of the greatest VTubers of all time, disappeared after that drama. Fans were disappointed in that company and many moved into others, so right before VTubers popularity skyrocketed, they lost all the moment the momentum and completely overshadowed by rival companies such as Cobra and Niji Sanji. In Bizarro Universe, these forums like YouTube, 5 Chan, 4 Chan would be talking about point life as the most famous company about VTubers, only if Tama didn't happen. But this is not the end of the story. Few months later, Tama reincarnated as an indie named Kuno Saki Shio. All her former fans continued to support her as she was a talented instead by black company all trying hard to rise as an indie. She was fairly popular, her streams were comfy and chill, she was really good at playing Mahong. But then, at the same time, the alloy drama happened, another, the another girl drama happened too. Due to security hole in a blog site, Note.com, her status IP was revealed. And it turned out that she was a poster on 4 with the same IP address. They said the poster is known as AC because of their ID. This is posted posted on VTuber board and there were thousands of pretty juicy posts that she talked about other VTubers, including yeah, your favorite Hololive VTubers, and even doxed some of them, revealing sensitive information that could only be known by someone who met them personally. The discussion of those posts was a really hot topic for almost half a year. When it was revealed, the reaction of the community was predictable. Imagine a VTuber collapse with your favorite VTuber and then she'd post about her in a thread like BT on 4chan or like in this situation on 4chan. She suddenly made many enemies. There are no notable VTubers she didn't she talk about except uh, Towa, who is her close friend. She was dislike bombed on the stream, like while streaming Fall Guys and trying to pretend nothing happened. It seemed like not admitting anything and wait for people to forget about it was her plan. 
but later she tweeted that she received threats in a physical mail to her mailbox to the place where she lives. And that is she's contacting louder and don't want to stream for a while. Point Life Drama and the IP Drama finished her career and gave her the title of Judas and the Backstabbing War. To this day, most of Point Life VTubers have virtually no growing subscribers count in an entire year. Didn't, then they didn't have any audition signs uh, when. All they had is five graduations. Naturally, literally cried a river on her graduation while streaming with virtually no sleep for almost three days because it was her last chance to stream. She didn't stop talking with viewers and when the stream was at the end of the screen, she valued every second she had to be with her fans. Futaba also cried a lot, but for a less extent, Kongo Iroha was relatively lively, but still sad. Riko and Asuki didn't see him for a year and were practically dead, so they didn't even say goodbye. Sio killed five or even seven good VTubers. Some fans, like Tamon Maru have tried to show their innocence through long articles. The one I show on the screen from Tamon Maru translated from Japanese to English and although the article stresses that EP address is not a good evidence and disapproves the comments issued by IP address one by one, this article has not served to put an end to the hate. However, it has even had multiple replicas and accusations that this article is actually a white knighting. The article say it's a stupid to reveal your identity when you troll an anonymous forum like 5chan. But 5chan users know that these trolls are like falsely strong drawers. See, saying you are someone famous on 5chan or 4chan makes people believe the opposite and make people believe that you are not that person. I mean, if you're going to troll on forums like 4chan it's really usual to say you are something famous or something only just to troll. People won't believe you at all. On the other hand, haters don't rule out that she was stupid doing the thing and she would never get caught. Shio has not shown any sign of life in 11 months. We don't know when she will return. Maybe never or maybe she will return it again. Only the future will know what happened. From my part, that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, share and subscribe. This has been the Traveler of the Abyss. See you in another video and bye bye.